Du Quan told his more than 1 million Twitter followers that he had not seen his name on Interpol's red notice list, but not all names are made available to the public. Terra co-founder Du Quan, wanted by South Korean authorities and whose whereabouts are currently unknown, has suggested he's not changing his routine in response to potential legal action. In a Monday tweet, Quan said members of crypto Twitter had likely seen him walking on the street or around shopping malls, without mentioning the city or country, in the past couple weeks despite Interpol reportedly issuing a red notice for the Terra co-founder. Quan told his more than 1 million followers in a reply that he had not seen his name on Interpol's list of individuals to locate and provisionally arrest, pending extradition, surrender, or similar legal action, but not all names are made public. I'm writing code in my living room, said Quan. I'm making zero effort to hide. Active on social media while facing potential arrest and prosecution in South Korea, Quan showed his location as Singapore on his Twitter account at the time of publication, but a September 17th report from Reuters suggested he may no longer be in the country. The Terra co-founder is a South Korean national. Dual citizenship in South Korea is generally not permitted with certain exceptions, but it's unclear if Quan holds more than one country's passport. A prominent figure in the crypto for his involvement with Terraform's labs, Quan became a person of interest among South Korean authorities when Terra's algorithmic stablecoin TerraUSD Classic, USTC, originally TerraUSD, UST, depegged from the US dollar and dropped to almost zero within weeks. The price of Terra, Luna, now Terra Classic, LUNC, also crashed amid liquidity issues reported at many platforms including Celsius. Quan, Terra, and certain company employees were the target of an investigation by South Korean financial authorities, who reportedly raided the offices of crypto exchanges Gopax, Coin1, Upbit, Bitham, and Corbit in July. A South Korean court later issued a warrant for the arrest of Kwan and five individuals connected to Terra for allegedly violating capital markets laws. Kwan posted on September 17th that he wasn't on the run or anything similar after the Singapore Police Force, SPF, said Kwan wasn't in the city-state. South Korea has no extradition agreement with Singapore, and Interpol's red notice can only request local law enforcement detain Kwan if he's located. Amid the controversy over Kwan's location and potential arrest, Indonesian financial authorities have reportedly been working to modify existing policy to prevent similar situations among leadership at the country's crypto firms. Cointelegraph reported on September 21st that Commodity Futures Trading Regulatory Agency acting head Didit Nordiat Moko said proposed changes to ensure two-thirds of directors and commissioners at crypto companies where Indonesian citizens would help leadership from fleeing the country if any problem arises.